In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the EpiInfo make view function to design a database. You will learn how to design a text question, how to design a checkbox question, a multiple choice question, how to move questions, and how to name variables. We will begin designing our database and questions by opening the make view function of EpiInfo. And I want to move this view area so that you will be able to see all the action. We will open a new file for EpiInfo and we'll call it new1 and that will be our database file and it has a view name new1 we say OK. Now we have a grid into which we can place questions and those questions will become fields in our database. So we're going to right click and put our first question which is what is your name? We give it our question number and when we come to the field name on this screen EpiInfo attempts to design the field name. We want to be a little bit careful because we want these field names to be quite unique. So we'll call this one name. EpiInfo does not like long complicated field names, so bear that in mind when you are editing these. Don't put in special characters or anything like that. So we say OK and we can change the space allowed so we can have a longer space if we need it. We can also by left clicking on this we can move it and place it wherever we want. So now we'll take uh, the opportunity to have a, another question. So we'll type in what is your gender and in this case we're going to make this an option style. We want to have a field name, so we'll call it gender, and we'll click OK. Move this one over for you. It gives us a number of choices and in this case we'll use two and then hit enter and we can label the two choices we want female male and we'll say OK now we have our two choices for our gender Next we want to make a multiple choice kind of question so we'll have three and we'll say what do you like to eat? Okay, And in, the, in this case we're going to make it a label. You'll see in a moment why. what do you like to eat and then we'll make another one which is 3a beef 3a beef and we'll say that we want it to be a checkbox so we'll say okay then we'll make another one, 3B, vegetables, 3B vegetables, we'll make it a checkbox and we'll say OK. And a final one. 3C, 
chicken and make it a checkbox 3C chicken and we'll say OK. Now we have created a question that will be answered with text, a question that can be answered by ticking one of the two choices, and a question that can be answered by ticking as many choices as applicable. If you want to understand how these look on the page, we can do th the data, enter data module by clicking here. We have to give it a data table name, which you have here. We'll say yes. Okay, and this is the way it looks for data entry purposes.